The purpose of this video is to start a discussion about how C stores information. In this series of videos, we'll use a couple of example programs to talk about how the call stack holds local variables, how parameters get passed, how memory gets allocated, and what pointers really look like. The first thing I'm going to do is get the first example program into VS Code. Add a folder to your workspace. Then click on that folder and add a new file. When you give it a name, make it end in .c so the C compiler will like it. From there, just put in the code that's in the description of the video. And we're ready to go. Before we go any further, let's take a minute to look at that code. This is the main function. Main is the function that gets executed when you run a C program. There are two ways that you can declare main, but this one allows for the most functionality, so I just use this one all the time. We'll talk about those arguments in a later video. The only purpose of this code is for us to be able to look at memory to see how C allocates space for variables. So we just put some patterns in the data so that we'll be able to find them in memory. In this function, there are three local variables, an array named x that holds 10 integers, and two integer variable names, whole and whole2. This part of the code just fills those variables with known values, so we'll be able to find them in memory. It fills the array with the values 0 through 10, and then puts 42 and 43 into whole and whole2. The last line is just there so that we can put a breakpoint on it and go look at the memory. I want to show you some ways that you can look at variables in VS Code. So let's put a breakpoint here at the printf statement, and then go to debug mode and run it in the debugger. When it's stopped at the breakpoint, you can see the variables in the variable tab here. x has values 0 through 9, and whole and whole2 have 42 and 43 respectively. You also see argc and argv. These are the parameters to main, and we'll talk about those in the later video. The C compiler stores local variables on the call stack. You can see the call stack in the lower left corner. Right now, the only function in process is our main function. The standard debugging tool for C is GDB, and VS Code gives us the ability to enter GDB commands directly into the debug console command line. This gives us, among other things, the ability to look directly at memory. So let's use it to look at how our local variables are stored in memory. This is going to require two steps. First, we're going to look at the registers, the places that the CPU stores some very specific things, to find out where the stack is located in memory. Second, we'll use that address to look at the memory locations holding the stack. When we want to enter a GDB command, we enter dash exec followed by the command. The command to see registers is info registers. I'm going to make the debug console part of the window bigger so that we can see the data that it just showed to us. The register we care about right now is RSP, which stands for register stack pointer because it is pointing at the top of the stack. I'm going to use control Z to copy that value so we can use it again later. While we usually think of stacks like a stack of dishes as growing up, the C compiler makes the stack grow down in memory. So RSP, which is the top of the stack, is the lowest memory address in the stack. So we've finished step one. We know where the stack is in memory. So now we want to look at the memory in that location. The command to look at memory is x for examine. We'll follow that with a slash, the number of words of memory we want to see. And I want to see them in hex. So I follow that with an x, then a space, and the address that I want to start with. For that, I'm going to copy and paste the address of the stack pointer. Before you get overwhelmed by all of those numbers, 
Remember that memory is just a sequence of spaces where we can store something. Those spaces are numbered, and we call that number their address. That address is how we find a particular space in memory. All of these numbers start with OX. That's GDB's way of telling us that they're being displayed in hexadecimal. The number on the left is the address of the first word in that row. And there are four words of memory in each row. The address is always displayed in hexadecimal. The addresses of words are four bytes apart because a word is made of four bytes and each one gets its own address. So each row takes up 16 addresses. C really likes doing things on four word boundaries. We'll talk about that more later. So the stack pointer always ends in zero and each subsequent row of the display also ends in zero. Remember, we're thinking in hex. Pause and look around for a minute to see if you can find all three of our local variables, x, whole, and whole2. Remember the values we put into them to try to find them. x is filled with the numbers from 0 to 9, so it is here. 42 in hex is 2a, and 43 is 2b, so whole is here, and whole2 is here. There's some other things to notice. First, there's other stuff stored in our stack. Notice these values between our local variables. Second, these values that start with OXFFFF look a lot like the addresses in this area of memory. They're actually pointers to other things in the stack. We don't need to know what they are right now, but we'll soon figure them out too. In the next video, we'll see more about how the call stack and parameter passing work.